I'm searching the web for the latest gaming news. Searching GameZillaMedia.com. Downloading headlines. Now, what about this monster story of yours? Download complete. Ah, welcome to the news, everybody. All right. We got a lot to go through. We're way behind, so let's get into it. The news. Topic number one. Nintendo just dropped... Well, it wasn't really a Nintendo Direct. I just realized this 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 uh, art art piece I grabbed for it, and everything's all wrong. It was a Indies highlight. Indie highlight. Yep. And Nintendo t- Indie news highlight. Topic number two. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, I thought you said we had to quick, quicken this up. We talk- oh, quick. Yeah, we're this- skipping the eSports segment. It'll, oh. it'll, it'll shave off 15 minutes of dead yeah. air. Okay. All right, anyways. Oh. So... <laughs> So some rumors dropped early this morning that uh, Nintendo was going to release something. We, and I honestly, I think a lot of us probably thought it was going to be for Nintendo Online. We were going to get some more details around <laughs> this this service that we all have to pay for in about a month. <laughs> you mean like two weeks? <laughs> you thought it was going to be about Nintendo Online. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine, two weeks. Gotcha. But it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, you can still pay your money to Nintendo and have no idea what you're getting. I did. <laughs> I know, so did I. But but we're You're going to have to pay for it and then they'll give you like the documentation that you have to read through and that's how you're going to figure it out. <laughs> we already got your money. Here's what you get. Oh, uh, all right. Well, uh so instead they released 16 new indie games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch this year and early next year. And we just wanted to run through them because uh, there was a few in there that were interesting. Um, uh, and, and we're gonna. If you're watching us live, you're gonna be able to see a slideshow of some of these games. But first, uh, first game is Night Call. It's a noir point-and-click adventure game. Well, where players take on the role of a taxi driver. Released and it's gonna be released in early 2019. Okay, cool. One that I really liked was Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. We had seen some of this footage in the past, but this was an update. It's a 2D hack and slash platformer, and it's starring a shape shifting Monster Boy. There's an awesome anime style soundtrack, and uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks really cool. Coming out November 6th this year. So I'm um, super pumped for that one. That looked great. The song they were playing during it, like, it had me. I'm like, I'm going to re listen to this. I'm yeah. going to re watch this point. And next, I'm like, I'm just jamming. I'm like, Monster Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was what great. What is the secret of your powers? <laughs> yeah, it was. Can I was we, like, can we get that for the show? Yeah, we, absolutely. We Next can. week, okay. intro song. Okay, we will. Monster Boy, me, my 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 remix. Yeah, yeah. We'll okay. let we'll record test singing it for us. It's way it's way way to do it. Yeah. Uh, yes. We have the Gardens Between, a surreal puzzle game in which players manipulate time to solve uh, vertically winding sets of logic puzzles. Dumb. Not, not my game, but it's coming out September 20th this year if you want to play it. Sounds like rhyme. S- Streets of Rogue, a procedurally generated twin stick shooter, four player co op action with roguelike elements. Coming out winter this year. Looked like a lot of fun. I it mean, lo- it looks like gun, like a modern gungeon. Yeah, but maybe with proper co op. Yeah, the, the, the co-op's <laughs> real, real bad. It's <laughs> real, real bad. <laughs> okay. Then we had Slay the Spire, which is a very popular Steam game. I've seen uh, Ma- uh, Matrix uh, stream that quite a bit. But that is um, Encounter Bizarre Creatures and Build a Powerful Deck in this card-based fighting game early 2019. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Windjammers, baby! Windjammers is coming to the Switch. Retro Frisbee action game. You know which one we're talking about. The real October this game. October 23rd, 2018. And the reason that's coming out so soon is because they released Windjammers 2 coming to the Switch uh, sometime in 2019. So you're going to have to get your practice on with Windjammers 1. Are we going to be able to pull Dead Eye away from Disc Jam to play Windjammers? Yeah, Disc Jam's dead. Yeah, I don't know, man. There hasn't been a whole lot of disc jam going on. I mean, I archived it on my Switch. I haven't played it in like six months. So, I think he got tired of me beating him. I got to that point where like he just it wasn't fun anymore. He never answered my challenge. I called. I made top hundred in the world. Yeah, there's only 102 people that play, but I made top hundred. Yeah, yeah. He got real good. (laughs) I did. That game's cheap, man. You learn like one strategy and you're pretty good. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Um. Next up, Terraria. Is that it? Is yeah. that how you say it? I've always pronounced it Terraria. 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 Minecraft 2D, whatever you want to call it. 2D yeah. side-scrolling Minecraft. That's where it's at. Releasing in 2019. Which is stupid. Yeah, that was, I was waiting for your reaction. He's like, why? I played this. I played, I'm pretty sure I played like, this game. I'm sketch. I'm pretty sure I got this as like a games with PS Plus free for my PlayStation Portable 
like four years ago. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. Are you really? Yeah, just so that it'll stay alive on the Switch. Minecraft's dead. Terraria for life. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe yeah. we find an item duplication glitch. And oh, play it too. God. I mean, if there's one in there. We'll Hypocrites! <laughs> Plural this time. Prison <laughs> Architect is our next game. You get to build and manage your own prison. Dumb. Everyone knows this game. I mean, most people know this game. It's been out for a while. You get all the DLC with it, um, including the new DLC that's coming up where you actually get to be the criminal, the prison break, like, where you get to actually, like, try to escape the prison, right? Is that I, it? I saw it looked yeah. like, I think it's, it I think it's like Sim escape. Jail, and yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. It's like next. Prison Break, the TV show, basically, but in, like, little, like, Fisher Price doll toys. Um, what did they call those the people? The little wooden people. The little wooden like, people. They're not like Duplo things. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, Duplos. Duplos. Yeah. There's, there's a, a there's Are they the, Duplos? Isn't there a scene in Malcolm in the Middle <laughs> where he's got like <laughs> thousands of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the mom falls and like destroys the whole the whole kingdom. Yes, yeah, whatever those are. Yeah, I was, I was looking it up. I was hoping if I talked about it long enough, somebody in the disc or in the Twitch chat might have chimed in. Yeah, and nah, nah. They're not helping they us out today. They're not helping us out today. Um, next game is one that Test can't wait for. Morphe's Law. Came out today. Came out today. So I absolutely can wait for it. Oh, I've sorry. Prison Architect available today. Yeah. If you're really into building prisons and, and keeping people down, you can do it. But anyways, uh, yeah, Morphe's Law. Available today, 20 bucks. Um, what, what do you want to say about this? Multiplayer arena shooter. Uh, the size of your character directly affects its abilities. Sometimes it's good to be big. Sometimes it's good to be small. It looks chaotic. Looks like there's going to be a bunch of balance issues to me. And because of it, I'm not interested. Yeah, it looks like they're called Little People. I was right! That's not the name I was thinking of. Yeah, whatever. I it's mean, not what I was thinking of We know of what either, we're talking but... about. We know what we're talking about. We all had them when we were super young. Because yeah. it, was, it was like... Cause Man, they I was a Lego like, guy. Yeah, I was yeah, a Lego so guy. Because they were bigger Legos. Like, and they like they still... They stood on pegs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're still pegs. But they were, but they were much bigger. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't eat them. I mean, you could try I mean, to eat them. I ate them. <laughs> 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 okay, next game, Bad North, an RTS game with roguelike elements to defend a series of islands from evading Vikings, and that is available right now. So they dropped a, oh. like, yeah, they dropped a bunch of games. I didn't realize that came out today. That's the one where it's like, it's, it's I mean, not 8-bit, but it's not 16-bit either. It's very minimalistic yes. when you're on the island. It's a real-time strategy roguelike. Yep. I, that's that, that was one of the games that I was more interested in that I hadn't seen before. Yeah, that one is available today. Uh, Moonlighter, RPG Zelda-like with giant bosses and gorgeous 16-bit art style. Autumn 2018. Now, this game was really cool. I was watching Magic on stage. Really cool. uh, he was number one on Twitch playing this a few days number ago. Number one! Mm. Um, and, best player uh, on Twitch. Best player on Twitch. And it looked really cool. It was just kind of yeah. like there was a crafting element that you don't really get in, in Zelda. Right. Right, but it still had that 2D... You know, feel of any of the the, the traditional Zelda games. So yeah, it looked that, it looked sweet. Uh, Do they have a price on that? Was it twenty bucks? Don't know. At twenty bucks, I'll buy it and play it for a day. Anything more, it's dead to me. There you go. Uh, next game is Jazzy Fiddle's game of the year. The this War of Mine. Yeah. If you want to hate your life, be depressed, yes! and think there's no hope, just play this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a brutal survival sim in which players must keep a ground of refugee uh, a group a ground a group <laughs> must put a bunch of refu refugees in the ground a group of <laughs> refugees yeah. alive hard decision to uh, do crop up often and always have severe consequences that is coming on November of this year yeah. will you now you played Death this decay that works you played this and you and you actually enjoyed it I tried to platinum in and I couldn't it's it that difficult is it is it a game that you like so much that you'll put because it's on the Switch, you'll get it again. Maybe, maybe okay, because you got it for free, right? I got it for free. It was a PlayStation uh, Plus game, on, whatever. On PS Plus, yeah. The, the, it's it's worth getting again for the Switch. Myself getting it for the Switch, maybe not, because I know I'm so close to the Platinum on PlayStation that I might not get it on the Switch just because I know I should go back and try to Platinum. Yeah, that's a good call. Good, good point. Uh, next game is one I'm uh, excited for: Children of Morta, fantasy hack and slash with awesome pixel art and action-packed dungeon crawling. Early 2019, um, Children of Morta looked really cool. So uh, that that's another one that I was didn't know didn't know about, and, and happy to hear it's coming to the Switch. A game I didn't care about, but Tess did. 
Everspace Stellar Edition is a roguelike space sim. Customize and pilot your own spacecraft and use it to to uh, carve your own path within a sprawling universe. Coming out December 2018. It actually looked like a better game than No Man's Sky was at launch. Well, you know, oh, like, yeah, I mean, everything's better than No Man's Sky at launch. I facts. made a video game on paper, and it was better than No Man's Sky at launch. Man, Deadite once made a video game on paper, too. <laughs> what, yeah. what was he drawing? That was napkins. Oh, yeah, napkins, yeah, napkins, yeah. Paper yeah, towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Nazis, Nazis. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next game, next game. No, uh, Everspace, though, like, to, like, here's the deal, like, it just looks like space sim to me. Like the cust- like there's like th- three ships, and then you can change the color of the ship. Like I- yeah, you're gonna get lost in this I- game. I'm telling you, it's always the dumbest ones that you get stuck playing hours of. I'm, well, something just, about this game is gonna make you just flip it. I don't know. Give me Star Wars Tie Fighter like HD remake. I'll play that nonstop. Uh, yeah, but this game. Yeah, so you yeah. can change the color of your ship. All right, yeah. but From the red game, to blue to yellow. the game of the entire highlight that no one can tell me otherwise is the best announcement ever for the Nintendo Switch. It's on the screen right now. Baba is you. Baba is you. It makes sense. It is, it's just, it's practical. We all know that Baba is you. What the heck is this? Okay, Baba is you is a quirky puzzle game in which you rearrange words to solve riddles. Coming out autumn yeah. 2018. Now that makes sense. When you watch the trailer, it doesn't make any sense at all. I'm not really sure what it is, but it doesn't interest me. I was I was kidding. It's not a very good uh, announcement. Are those Baba. the characters you were talking about? Uh, those are like the those are like the, the, the 2018. Advanced, yeah. They were Playmobil before they back in my day. Okay, because I'm old. They we couldn't have legs. That was too that was too technical. So right. it was just like a cylinder and on top of a smaller cylinder. It <laughs> was yes. It was Playmobil then. Playmobil, yeah. The Funko was revigor- reinvigorating yeah. the line. That's what you saw. I there, forgot so. about that. Yeah. Everything I could find on online were just like Playmobile. Yeah. So Playmobile. so instead of finding out about the online service that we all have to pay for in a few weeks. We got a bunch of new games to try to like just like steer us away. Like, hey, this is a dumpster fire. Don't look over here. And it worked because I saw a bunch of games I want. Yeah, but bunch of games you can play online. There's a couple questions though. A, this got uploaded at 8 a.m. Yes. Eastern time. Yeah. With no warning. True. Only to Nintendo of UK's YouTube, where everything was rated like 16... Peggy. Peggy 16. Yeah, Peggy 16. (laughs) It's actually Peggy 16. Peggy 16. The one game I'm curious about that I want to come out more than anything that was featured in the first Nindies, Wargroove, nowhere to be seen. No, they showed... No, you're wrong. You're wrong. They showed Wargroove in a slide... Of names of games that are never said, coming out. <laughs> Is that the joke? <laughs> no. Is that the joke? No, they said. <laughs> Might as well be. It, they actually showed this screen and near the end of the highlights, and it said, um, "If you're coming to Gamescom starting tomorrow in Germany, we are going to be hands on with these games and more." So that game is supposedly going to be playable tomorrow in Germany. So we should find out more. Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I forget s- TwitchCon. We're going to Germany. Yeah, let's just go to Germany. Dude, I'd love to go to that con. And the last thing, why did they not mention that Bro Force got a launch date on the Switch? Yeah, that is weird. Why didn't they announce that? Because I didn't oh. know that until you said something. Yeah, I think it's September 8th. Or fifth, it's early September. Yeah, and yeah, we're getting Bro Force. Like, I'll, I'll buy that and play that again. You got it. We got it for free last uh, on With, PlayStation Plus. Yeah, no. yeah. But yeah, you don't have access to it now because you're not a, you're not a PS boy. I actually think I bought it on PlayStation Plus. Everybody after everybody was talking yeah, about yeah, it, it was like yeah. seven bucks, so I bought it. Yeah, but yeah. I'll, I'll, it's gonna be twenty bucks now. I'll I'll buy it. Yeah, I've bought <laughs> worse games for more money. <laughs> He'll buy. I make so much money on Switch. I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, Ball and Hobo Junior. That's me though. That's why he runs the stream team, guys. He's the big, big time. Yeah, big yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that BDE. <laughs> there he call goes. Him, we call him. There the, he goes. He's getting into his groove now. We call big, him the big. <laughs> we call him the big feta. Big mood. The big feta. Kids say big mood nowadays. I don't know what it means. 